Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So this was our uh, Patreon exclusive uh, from a couple days ago, and it brings up some interesting questions. There's definitely progress in the awakening of the masses on the planet. Of course, not all the masses. We're not going to awake them all. We might not even awaken the majority. I will tell you from our own personal interactions, uh, people in the area that that where we are, they're all awake. Every single person I talk to gets it. Um, you know, as we were talking to um, the delivery driver yesterday, and um, man, you know, this this gentleman was I'd say maybe somewhere 35, 38. And uh, he was saying how he lost his wife. Obviously, she was also very young. Uh, you know when? You know, right, right after a certain thing happened in 2021. There was a lot of people uh, that have been leaving the world uh, in this 3D existence way too early, way too early, and so. You know this delivery driver um he's he he understands he, he understands how the food is toxic how you know he no longer trusts any of their science this is just it's an awakening that's happening out of necessity mm -hmm. it, it was really really sad his situation it was just so sad because they were trying to do all the things uh, that need to be done to help save her and they just it wasn't enough it wasn't enough and you know to look at how toxic we truly truly are and what they have done coming up to this point it's like they've really filled people it's very much like a lit fuse you know they fill people with the things they light the fuse and then it just happens the rest of it happens on its own it's this huge cascade and i look at the situation and it's so so very covertly narcissistic is is what it is because you can point things out and you can say hey that's not right. That's not okay. And they just blindly keep moving forward. I mean, you are completely ghosted. They do not recognize what you are saying. This control system does not recognize that they are doing anything wrong. They just keep moving forward with the plan. So, I mean, that means we really have to push hard to change direction. I feel like we're getting momentum. Let's just keep going. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah, it's a tough point in time right now. And yet you have the U.S. set, set to lend $20 billion more to Ukraine in a $50 billion total package. So says Janet Yellen. Plenty of money for death and destruction because that's what they do. And, you know, yet nothing going to help the people in again north carolina tennessee um the the appalachians which is really really bad and you know uh, we have friends uh, a lot in in that area and so firsthand what we are hearing is that again e even as if you're uh, up to date with what you're finding on x and 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 all it it's still probably not as bad as it really is <laughs> it's worse um and it is life-threatening conditions and they're sending you know again 50 billion over for more death and destruction in in ukraine and can you imagine just one billion put into uh, actually helping people here you know it's it's just it's beyond insane it's so obvious and it it begs to it begs to bring the question when do people stop paying their taxes but you know it takes everybody doing that um in order to become effective because they'll just take the stuff that you own and we do we know two doctors you know that lost um, they lost properties. They, they, they had things taken from them. And again, they could even throw you in jail. Uh, and yet, it's not what it appears to be. You know, there's no representation going on 
it, it's the biggest scam you know that that people would ever wake up to in their their lifetimes and there is ww3 already underway north korean soldiers military base in russia's primorsky cry in the village of sergevika in the far east uh, yeah, allies from North Korea have arrived and, in fact, you know, are on the battlefield. We've talked about that, too. Uh, again, North Korea is one of those countries that has been so hit with sanctions. Uh, and yet, I, the picture that gets painted is not always an accurate one. Like when we look to um, Gaddafi, now I saw photos of Gaddafi when he was young, and I didn't even recognize him when he was, you know, really young, uh, like in his 20s and all, you know, he did things like free health care for people. And, and, you know, he was painted as this venomous demon. But it's the demons that are painting him that way. You know, again, uh, HRC and, and, and her hubby. You know, these are the people, we've been led by demons. And perhaps, in fact, you know, the demons that have been leading the West are the biggest demons of them all. When, again, there's no real good governments here on the planet. You know, it's, it's again, trying to find the lesser of the evils while we're trying to find a totally new system. Now, you know, North Korea expected to send 12,000 troops. Uh, this is what they're talking about openly. And, you know, some are even reporting that uh, South Korea may uh, end up sending troops uh, just to tit for tat. Again, it is a, uh, an obvious escalation. When are they going to trigger this? Um, well, you know, I don't know <laughs> is the bottom line. Although we are now very close uh, to uh, election day, of which, you know, again, that's going to put a whole new twist into everything. How are they going to paint that drama? It's really f kind of f fascinating in a dark way to wonder what they're going to do. The one thing I wanted to bring up, though, is, again, everything is always telegraphed. You know, uh, they, they tell us things through The Simpsons and through movies. Everything is right in front of our faces. The Red Dawn movies, the Red Dawn, remember Red Dawn? That's when uh, the United States itself uh, is invaded. Well, you know, the main villain is North Korea. And it, I find, you know, that interesting because North Korea is in the news right now with this sending troops to, to fight in Ukraine for Russia. And then the, the series Jericho. North Korea is mentioned as one of the countries responsible for the nuclear attacks on the United States, uh, along with Iran. And then we're watching the news right now. It just feels like it's just simply the script. Hmm. They're, they're following, <clears throat> following it along and, you know, giving us information to kind of tell us and clue us in. Uh, and this happens daily. It's, it's really not a secret anymore. So I'm... I'm not, of course, I'm not happy that these things are going on, but I am excited that we have so much momentum with so many people in the know and so many people being prepared. If So if the bottom just falls out of the jar, other people are going to be right there to help each other, help pick each other up. And I think we've done a really good job of, of helping one another and starting to create this... Um, this platform of people who are going to be ready to uh, fill in the gaps, you know, if the system goes down and if there is a lot of a lot of things that need to be done and people might need special medicines, they might need food. Well, there's other people that are waiting to help help things go on. So that's great. And here we have Iran and Saudi Arabia planning to conduct joint military exercises in the Red Sea. These, these reports are coming from Iranian uh, media. And we also have Egypt's president hailing partnership with Russia over here and discuss nuclear projects, trade, Middle East tensions. Egypt, that's okay. Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia. That's really, really significant. And uh, I'm going to bring something up. Mm-hmm. We're going to bring something up because this is where Mike starts to just sort of flow with the energy and things just sort of come into 
come into focus. Here we go. So, you know, this is the Greater Israel map. Um, and the whole concept of Greater Israel is something that we are seeing uh, right now uh, come to fruition. There you go. So if you if you look over here, uh, Greater Israel is part part of Egypt becomes part of the Greater Israel. Uh, same thing with Saudi Arabia, as you see over over here. Jordan is absorbed. Lebanon is completely part of Israel. Uh, Syria, mostly, even a part of Turkey down there, as you can see, and half of Iraq. So you have Saudi Arabia and and Egypt right here. Obviously, um, you know they would be targeted, and of course, Iran is is also. Uh, target perhaps number one at this point in time as Hezbollah uh, it has been you know a military arm of Iran but really it's again it, it's it's within one system now does that system always play nice uh, no because again these these are people that value themselves above everything and and truly um, you know what what is uh, the definition of, of Satanism, when you go into like Anton LaVey, if you've ever looked at him him and his little satanic Bible, it, it's just basically, it's all service to self, to the extreme, where, you, yeah, would they, would they actually um, take out their allies? Of course they would. Yeah, of course they would. Yeah, these none of these entities have any sort of scruples at all. There, there's no morals guiding them. There's such a a void of any sort of morality really in the, in the political leadership of the planet yet some are darker than others and and that is the reality and and again the united states since world war ii and perhaps even you know before that um the united states has kind of led the way as the top military power and some have said that the united states is nothing but simply uh the policeman uh, for Israel itself at this point in time. And so, you know, these these other countries, they are banding together. Of course, it's part of this project, which goes all the way back to, to Genesis. But again, <laughs> you know, as hard as you try to awaken people, they don't want to wake up. Uh, in, in many cases, you have people that don't want to wake up. You could tell them and show them where things come from. And they're still going to just choose to believe what they believe. You know, it's it's again, uh, <laughs> it's a, it's an indoctrination that sometimes the roots are so deep you just can't get deep enough to pull the the roots truly out. Well, and and that's the definition of the psyop that they wanted to do to all of us. Um, in in the end of the psyop, it doesn't matter how much information a person is presented with and how many facts a person is presented with. They're, they're going to just, you know, turn away from them and, and they're going to believe whatever they want anyway. So for that part of things, the PSYOP has been successful. And if you're awake, then you've done really good at breaking out of that PSYOP. So, you know, we can only say um, what we observe and feel and, and know. So when we look to BRICS, this is, is just talking about how BRICS has expanded and, you know, it has, has 10 official members uh, at this point in time. Um, you know, again, about 45% of the world's population and, you know, more economic power than the G7. When you look at it, th these, these BRICS and NATO, uh, BRICS and the Western world, are on a collision course this is you know also again mostly ezekiel 38 countries that you're looking at and you see their 2024 agenda as they're having their big uh meeting right now in kazan russia and part of uh well tartar country uh promoting multipolar world integrating new members enhancing trade and investments in this uh, is just saying this is Jason A. Um, they just announced the New World Order. Most of this is coming from the uh, Indian um, news agency, which we uh, subscribe to, too, and Fox combination. 
Um, you know, when you look at their energy, uh, and I was asking Cindy to read their energies and, and, you know, tell me how many, uh, reptilians do you see here? Um, absolutely. There is a, a reptilian, uh, energy with them. However, when, when you look at them, uh, they're, they're actually not as dark as our leadership when you, when you look at, um, you know, the, the deepest intentions. And yes, Aji is running concentration camps for, for Uyghurs. Of course, I mean, all these entities, to get to be in this position, they have to be kind of reptilian. <laughs> in reality, you, you, you can't get there with a warm, fuzzy heart because, you know, this is the system that we have in, um, you know, a, a Kali Yuga. And now it's, it's, it's going to start to change and you know will will we get freedom from from bricks uh no i, I again it's it's kind of like picking your poison you know is it is it beer or is it um grain <laughs> you know? it's 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 all poison it's all poison it's all toxic and and it is part of the script but but can things go not according to script. Yeah, because again, you know, timelines are not set in stone. And, you know, you have so many people, they say there's 8 billion people on the planet. That's a fascinating topic in and of itself. Are there 8 billion humans on the planet? Are there? Um, we, I don't think there there is. And I don't, I, you know, that's another thing. I, I think that the numbers are are way off as we've uh, alluded to with the planet itself being so much bigger and this is why people think it's flat because the fact is you know all that we know is only about 20 25 percent of the entirety of the planet M most of the planet we don't see and know um, and it's the same thing with with humans and uh, David Icke was bringing up uh, what a lot of people have talked about too NPCs and stuff well They've been trying to create humans that have the source spark, but don't have the connection to source. This is what they're you know, really after is, is basically slaves that give them the energy potential, but don't give them uh, any sort of uh, sass and will just go straight along with whatever they're told to do without questioning. Which is a really, really, really creepy subject, and it's a creepy topic, but it's actually happening. Uh, they are creating beings that just simply go along with what they're told, and unfortunately, that too is something that takes time and conditioning, and it takes one generation after the next generation, so it takes parents teaching their children, and it also takes this uh, kind of reptilian type of overlay energy over them, so making them very easy to control. Um, you know, they control out of fear. They, they get people very afraid to take destiny in their own hands and they say well this this way is a sure way for you here cradle to grave we will pay you cradle to grave you'll never have to worry just do this thing and t all too often it's just easy for them to step into that so they have no worries and no fret and but believe me if you step out of line just a little bit and follow your heart and follow your soul you're going to pay for that and and that's what keeps people in alignment for them but you cannot stop the expansion of a human soul. Once they break out of that and once they understand the truth and once they feel that heart chakra is starting to tap their destiny, you really cannot go back. Mm -mm. No, absolutely. Um, you know, so again, reading the energy of, of these people, it does seem that it's lighter than our Western leadership and doesn't mean that we're pro bricks. Um, it, it just means, you know, uh, maybe there is uh, a little bit less darkness um, amongst these, even with the camps for the Uyghurs over there in China. When you realize what's really gone on uh, that's been uh, executed by the Western leadership, and it's all part of a bigger, you know, play again. 
um, it's 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 so diabolical. It, it's it's hard to fathom. Again, with Netanyahu, when you look to his energy, um, it's as dark as any's on on the planet that we can see. Definitely, definitely, it's something that um, I think I think we're doing better though. We're getting better. As far as the the awakening, because a lot of people recognize what's happening, and and a lot of this was happening too. In in uh, you know again, the lead up to WW two, the Austrian president has broken with custom and has not appointed the right wing Freedom Party to form a government, despite them we- winning the election. So the right wing won the election, but won't be allowed to try and form a government. Uh, I think, again, everything that we see that's going to end up happening in uh, the U.S. here, it's all right there. So, you know, again, is this going to be what we're going to see replayed? It's coming close. What are the odds the CDC discovers this today, that McDonald's linked to an E. coli outbreak? Uh, Yeah, quarter pounders i mean i don't know you know forgive me if you just had mcdonald's last night but i don't think there's many people following us that would ever eat at mcdonald's anymore and you know i mean i haven't eaten at a mcdonald's in in over 20 years uh ever <laughs> I mean, maybe 30 i mean it's been a long time and i i would never because you there's they're just it's just pure toxic poison pure toxic poison so you know again the sending a message here because you have an e coli outbreak after you have 45 serving the fries you know of course it, it, you can't you can't make this up and then you have reports coming in uh that machines are are doing the flip floppy thing and in texas what they want again is they want us to to do it ourselves they want us to create the mess so they're pushing they're poking they're prodding doing everything that they could possibly do maricopa county is now saying it's going to take 10 to 13 days to get election results 10 to 13 days before you could hear anything uh, out of arizona uh why why is it so bad you know because again it's it's completely corrupt and it's supposed to be that bad they're they're trying to trigger us as best as they can and authorities uh hold held i should say on monday planned evacuation drill which freaked some people out uh, evacuation of all capitol hill buildings it was a training exercise training for plane hitting the buildings and more and in fact you see here dc ramps up inauguration day security and they're going to be keeping uh the gates up and in place much longer than usual uh they're expecting there to be issues because again it's all being to use that word uh, albert pike used fomented fomented meanwhile fire destroys west virginia governor's mansion in beckley west virginia Beckley, West Virginia. Uh, Yeah, beautiful area. Um, You know, be careful out there, everybody, because, you know, again, if you're close to a highway, just realize that, you know, in times of chaos, anything could be happening and you don't know who's going to be driving on that highway and um, say that with more things than one in mind. You know, Canada leads the world world in organ harvesting from government-assisted suicides. Wait a minute, we were just talking about camps in China. Canada leads the world. It also leads the world in government-assisted suicides. And boy, didn't they have... They were one of the most stringent ones, along with Australia and New Zealand, when it came to certain things. Kid you not. You know, this is so dark that it's it's almost unbelievable for folks but then again you know this is history repeating itself and it's doing so it, this is the the grand finale this is like you know when you're watching fireworks and then you get to that point where they just light everything that's left well we're kind of at that point that's what i'm seeing too you know i mean looking at this stuff 
uh, they're definitely poking the bear as much as possible, as much as uh, they are allowed. But really, it's our response that we have to hold on to. We have to hold on to our, our response. We need to stay stable. We cannot freak out. Um, having the information is very, very valuable. But if it affects you negatively, that's just going to affect your health. So it's this Buddhist detachment that we always talk about. It's like, yes, no one understands that this is the world we live in, but you have the ability to create your own world and don't let your blood pressure go up when you find these things out. Yes, they are infuriating, but I mean, how much can we really do? Uh, it starts with us. And if you do start with yourself, then you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot more than you think. If you can just get yourself stable and get yourself strong, get yourself healthy, that's that's a win right there. Australian federal member of parliament, Rus Russell Broadbent, issued a demand to the Australian government to immediately cease you know what people. And he backed a motion put forward by Port Hedley Councillor Adrian McRae, who is currently where? In Kazan, Russia, with the BRICS Summit. Ooh, that's interesting, is it not? Uh, yeah, it is very interesting. You know, again, I, I don't think there's been really a country that I know of that's been worsely uh, treating its citizens in so many ways than, than Australia. When you really look back in, in history, um, yeah, I'm sure there are some very small countries, um, much worse, but think about what they've done. And man, do we love the Australian people. On the whole, they are some of the nicest people that we know. And they've been through an awful lot. Cayenne pepper cleans out your arteries, absolutely. You know, again, natural. And even dear, dear friends uh, that are awake to certain things will we'll still be looking for, you know, will make comments that boggle my mind because they're still in the system in one way, shape, or form. It takes a lot to uh, totally step out. Um, and yeah, I know as long as we're paying taxes, as long as, you know, they tax your properties, you're not really out of the system. But what I mean is the choices, uh, to go along with certain things, you know, again, trusting things that we were brought up with and taught as kids. And it, it, it's hard. It's really hard for some people. Uh, the religious side is going to be the, the hardest thing to let go for others. It may be the medical side. And then for others, you know, they have such a hatred of one side uh, of, you know, one wing and uh, such a love inherently for the other wing that, you know, they'll overlook things that the wing that they, they like is doing. And meanwhile, they're looking to point out everything about the other wing. It's one entity is, is the biggest point to understand. And so, you know, here you have RFK Jr., pointing out t four toxic substances yeah coloring the seed the seed oils that they use a lot is coming straight out you know the fda you know i saw somebody made a comment you know oh okay well you're on your own with you know, you know I can't rely on the fda when it comes to certain supplements it's like you know nobody should rely in my mind in the FDA, CDC, or WHO, because now that's just my opinion, and and me saying that might get this into trouble, but in my opinion, you need to have your head examined if you trust any of these entities. Um, so yeah, again, you know, it it you could keep it pretty simple, um, and use like coconut oil, uh, use olive oil, not for high temperature cooking um you know low temperature cooking at, at best and and fresh i mean i love olive oil's taste um of i don't know how anybody's buying canola oil how could you possibly buy canola oil or again oil that comes from gmo soybeans and you know it, it's just it we've had so much come out but still people uh, they just don't read labels, and, and it's so sad. You know, I was happy to see this young man. You know, he understood a lot more, and it's because he lost his wife that, that it got him digging. You know, losing your wife in your 30s is a horrible thing. 
that was really really difficult for him you know he came out and he just kind of blurted it out and we were there and I, I I told him I you know he says I wish I could have I, I wish I would have known you guys sooner and I told him I, I said I'm so sorry you lost your wife this is horrible but please understand that everything happens for a reason and you were chosen you were chosen to have this experience and hopefully help other people and help a lot of people too the, a lot that's that's what the tragedy does for us it's so difficult to swallow that tragedy and accept it and realize that you know it has a purpose and it does have a reason but this is how things work now he's probably going to keep his eyes out for a couple hundred people and help a lot more people than than just um him himself so it was that realization i think that he knew okay there's more to this than just that and and it's such a difficult difficult raw sensitive tragedy that happens to someone but it, it happens to so many and it's that tragedy unfortunately that wakes us up yeah absolutely and uh cancer cannot get a hold of your body if your liver is functioning optimally and again we're so overly toxified cannot get a hold on the body so overly toxified um a liver flush can be achieved with using coffee enemas organic of course now if you're not drinking organic coffee you are toxifying very quickly um, you know, again, it, it's one of the most sprayed poisonous substances there is. Um, yet again, it does have tremendous value if, if you are getting organic. Uh, you know, why do they have us killing the dandelions? Because it has a lot of health benefits to us. You know, that this is just the, the insanity of this world. They've been getting us to take care of us. This is what they do and the liver can regrow. Uh, and replenish itself it is recoverable you you know you can have done tremendous damage through drinking or or many other substances which you know, farma gives us that will you know toxify the liver but you can it don't ever give up it's never too late you you can keep pushing and cleansing uh and Sinead o'connor you know who died at 56 uh a, a book here to know about the dark truth of religion yes the the mainstream religion is the biggest mind control psyop that there is it's the number one it's the root of everything really and then you know automatically people will think well then you must be a communist and you know maybe you're a maoist well you know mao again is one of them too so everything that we see when we look at capitalism it's created by the system communism it's created by the system fascism it's all we 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 have nothing that that is part of this society that hasn't been given to us by the system and when you look again uh to you know the the bible or the quran number one number three most published books of all time mao's is number two the, the works of mao you know this this is a system of control and you know it, it, did she leave because of this you know how could you possibly think that there's any good in the catholic church there are individuals that are within the church that don't have a clue um, because they're just going along doing what they were brought up with average people uh, not by the time you get to cardinal or any of this as you move up the clergy you, you start to see, you'll start to see things and you'll either choose to get out or you'll choose to go along with the system. But if you keep going along with the system, then you end up realizing that, you know, the evil that you preach against is you. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and it, it is so sad and so unfortunate that some people tried to tell other people and they pay the ultimate price for that. They really, really do. And being in a position to wake up the masses is definitely a not really a popular one it's it's one that can get you in a lot of trouble but we take it very seriously and we do our best and we take good care of ourselves and we do all the things and then we are grateful for you know everything that we are given but we see people 
uh, that are doing that, but understand they got in those positions from doing a thing. You know, you, you, they really do. They sell their soul, but then some are so sorry. They turn around and they tell everyone to the best of their ability, but then it's too late because you've stepped into that really large arena and it, and it's, it becomes just one person against the control system. And, and that's hard. And that's what makes it so beautiful when, um, Mike and I are here and, and we talk with you guys and we gather as a group, safety in numbers, <laughs> safety in numbers. Some of you are, um, some of you also understand that those who have energetic differences, there, there could be some things that, you know, that you get bullied, you get bullied or you get targeted. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. But, you know, we have each other and we keep continue to back up each other and we continue to wake up those who we can and things just get better. Absolutely. And here you see a giant sarcophagus. How big must of this being be? You know, when you look at it, uh, this guy says he's six foot two and you can see how, how large this is. You know, and again, you'll have, why, why do we always harp on this? Because you could see it right now. There are so many people, and I look at the comments on, you know, Fox News and others. When it comes to understanding now that they can't trust uh, FARMA, okay, a lot of them get it. But they're still then saying, you know, things like, oh, you know, they're waiting for the second coming, et cetera, et cetera you know, repent, et cetera. They, they're, they're doing monkey see, monkey do. They're being trained like parrots, and they only know to parrot the things that they've heard their whole lives. And they don't realize that, you know, that book was given to you by kings and queens. This is, you know, do you, do you trust King Charles? Do you really trust King Charles? Do you, do you tr trust the aristocracy, the royalty? Why in the world would you do that? It's it's coming from the same source. And, you know, yet, you know, there you go. They, they just can't let go of that. But in, in doing that, then uh, you'll see the comments where, you know, people are like, go Israel, go. When Israel is, is doing what they did in the past. You know, when you see the giants, you'll have people say, well, they're all just a byproduct of fallen angels. That's what the system told you. And what do you think the system is going to tell you about everybody that lived in the United States, you know, after everything happens to the U.S. with the invasion and the war? Oh, well, you know, they had it coming, right? I mean, this this is what the system does, and, and it really is time to, to smell the coffee and not be condoning horrible things. The, these, there are many different giants out there, many different um, beings that were well extraterrestrials and interterrestrials as well um we we mixed openly with so many different beings in the past ages it's only again in the dark age that this is hidden from us they're they're not all from the same background so you know again that whole concept of fallen angels is a misnomer and same thing even with lucifer it's it's coming from one uh, quote in the book of Isaiah, which is a mistranslation in the first place, but it's so ingrained in people's thoughts that they equate light and bringing light with being evil. Light is knowledge. Y you know, the dark ones, they, they don't want you having the light. They, they want you to have the darkness because if you understand, and again, they, they want to block the light from touching your skin. They want the clouds up there. They want the sunscreen on. You know, that that brings light is bringing understanding. Who, who doesn't want you to have the light? It's the demons. It's the dark control system. This should be so obvious. And yet, you know, it just doesn't seep through calcified pineal glands and minds that are constricted. It's it's tough. It really is tough for for those who are in families, and their families might have some idea of what's going on, but are ultimately blinded by the belief system, and they 
sometimes people, they're so indoctrinated, they just don't think about where they get their information. But as you go on your journey and you are starting to wake up, one thing that I still practice to this day, it's like, where did I get this information? And if the information came from a book or, uh, uh, you know, someplace that's really, really popular, boy, do I check that information because these beings that are controlling us are absolutely going to make popular only what they want you to know. So things need to go through your own filter after you are healed. So healing is a big part of this. When you are able to be healed, then you can run things through a much clearer filter, which is your body, your temple, your mind, your soul, and really get to the truth. What do you think the truth is? Not what that book said, not what that person said. What is your truth? And that's where we need to be. Absolutely. Last night was so pleasant. I got to go snuggle uh, with the person that I adore uh, out under the stars. And it was just a fabulous night, perfect temperature. Um, there's nothing so peaceful as, as being out in nature and, and being able to unplug. Um, wouldn't trade it for anything. You could see, you know, there's helpers all around us. I, I just... I was look. I was watching a, a beautiful little baby deer go by um, in a game trail, it, going through the backyard. Uh, there's a lot of game that goes through our backyard all the time, and we have also uh, a couple of neighborhood uh, foxes, which one of them is is kind of like this guy, and then one of them is 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 very big and 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 beautiful. And um, they go right through the backyard and uh, freaks out the dogs when they see them. Uh, this is why we have, you know, the fencing up. I, I do think Rama would follow me uh, pretty much everywhere. But at the same time, you don't want to tempt fate. And if they see something, they might get an eye on it. I've had uh, Zeke come face to face uh, with, with deer and he would just look at me and I would say, nope. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't go running off after them. But we still have to work with these two as they're still they're still kids in the bigger scheme of things. As you see, this this fox and this dog, um, a fox says, getting to be good friends right to the end, right to the end. Again, humans could do this. There's no reason for it. I, I love uh, Chinese culture. I have studied a lot into Russian culture in the last um, you know three to five years. A lot more. Um, I, I love you know studying the cultures all around the world as much as I can. I love sampling the food, and I like trying to replicate it too. That's really a big passion. We have so much we can share with our differences that it'll make life um, just even more exciting. I, again, the idea that one is better than another that just needs to be totally discarded. It, it's just simply. The differences that we see are really coming from source because source, you know, does not believe one size fits all. The system sure does, though. Mm -hmm. I, I, what I recognize now is people, when they get upset at other people, it's not because the other person did something really horrible to them or vice versa. It has nothing to do with that. Usually people get really venomous and vicious because uh, somebody has a different belief system. And that just really shuts the door on all friendships and, and all, all, you know, interactions between people. The belief system not because anyone harmed anyone so you can see how important the belief system is to the controllers they need us to find reasons to slam the door in each other's faces you know it's like oh you believe that well slam the door on you and they just don't care and and they're they feel righteous and they feel full of pride well i believe this so we really got to watch that belief system close yeah, absolutely. And again, the reason why I harp on it so much is because in our times right now, they are utilizing the religious system to get people to automatically condone something that's pure evil. It's happening in our time. It's happening right now. And it is a big part of, of the coming um, atrocities that they have planned as well. You know, again, it, it, 
Christianity and Islam are on the same train tracks and they're rolling towards each other. But as soon as people, like if, if we had that happening and we could be rolling towards Armageddon, which in many ways it looks like we are, if you really literally did have a mass sighting uh, of, of UFOs, you know, now you're going to have so many people ingrained with the thought it's blue beam, automatically it can't be real, got to be blue beam. But when you look closely at blue beam, you'll find that there's really good, strong, tangible evidence for it that, that, that that's lacking. It, this was something that was seeded in the consciousness in order to also negate the possible intervention by uh, other in extraterrestrials that that just can't hold their breath anymore, can't wait for us. Uh, there are some, you know, again, uh, that are not like fifth density, but, but are much closer to um, our level, perhaps even just maybe a few thousand years ahead of us, that are dying to just spoil the plans and just basically go nanny nanny i'm gonna show myself there's an awful lot of them out there that would love to do that and to blow the paradigms and then all the religions that have been so indoctrinated just dissolve because you'll realize you know wait a minute so this is not real and this is and everything is all of a sudden changed and you you can't they won't be able to go along with so much of their plans and you know this is um something that really i think does terrify the system uh, i think they are terrified of of certain extraterrestrials especially just random random extra extraterrestrials coming in and showing themselves because again once you're out of that that dark age then so much is possible mm -hmm. right it's something that once you understand it and you see it you can never ever ever unsee it absolutely look forward to your comments source bless and namaste namaste